<clears throat> okay, we will start now. Uh, please uh, tell me through the chat if you can hear me, and if everything goes well, so we can start. The audio is okay, everything okay? Okay, perfect. So welcome everyone to this new webinar of Wattel, where we are going to talk about how to use Wattel for uh, sales teams, uh, focusing on which kind of strats or features you can use uh, for improving your results in your sales team. And also uh, we will share with you uh, our new feature. Uh, we will have uh, in, in a few weeks uh, a new inbox feature for live chat where you can uh, start using directly inside Wattle and manage uh, all the conversations. So we will, uh, I will show a live demo of this and how to take advantage for your sales team of this uh, new feature. And also in the left side, uh, as always in the handouts uh, section, you will have a lot of li uh, useful links. So you can book a demo, uh, look for more webinars, eBooks, more information, even you can connect me on, on LinkedIn. And also, uh, if you, if you want to be part of our first batch of users that start user using our new inbox, you can uh, subscribe uh, in the last link, uh, priority access to what a new uh, live chat feature. Uh, so please, if you want, uh, just subscribe here. So you will be the one to, to use these new features. So we will start. I am Jose Miguel. I am the CMO of Wattle. And today, as talking before, uh, we will talk about sales. This is the main uh, objective of the webinar. If you have questions, obviously, you can uh, let us to know your uh, questions on the live chat or the question section. And uh, at the end of the webinar, we will answer all your questions. So first, uh, a small introduction of, of Wattle. Where Water, we are a software as a service platform focused on deliver uh, conversational solutions. Uh, we have a super simple solution with the, our software as a service, so you can subscribe to our platform and start using it. Uh, our team will onboard you and help with the setup of everything because uh, nowadays it's a bit complicated to start using WhatsApp Cloud API, for example. So we will help you to do that. And also we deliver uh, personalized solutions for the companies. So if you have something more complex, we can help you too. We are working on light chat solutions, broadcast messaging. Uh, we are working with chatbots, uh, uh, intelligent, uh, intelligent artificial, uh, and also integration and uh, conversational commerce. So we touch uh, all the uh, conversation solutions that we uh, have uh, available. Talking about WhatsApp Cloud API, for the ones that are new uh, here and doesn't know uh, about WhatsApp Cloud API, uh, what's WhatsApp Cloud API? WhatsApp Cloud API is not like the consumer application or WhatsApp business. It's not an app that you can download for the App Store. Uh, it's an uh, API in the cloud. So you need uh, to work with WhatsApp Cloud API that has a lot of features that we already covered in other webinars. Uh, you need to use a business solution provider as Wattel uh, to be sure that you have an interface to start using WhatsApp Cloud API. So you cannot uh, just go to WhatsApp and download WhatsApp Cloud API. You need to work with us uh, to be sure that you take advantage of all the features uh, that you have available with WhatsApp Cloud API. If you want to know more about WhatsApp Cloud API, you can check our past webinars or even talk with uh, our team uh, that will be super, super uh, helpful with that and tell you uh, what you need to do uh, to know about uh, what's a Cloud API and how can you use it on your own company. Okay, so move forward to the topic of the webinar uh, where we will uh, discuss uh, how to build a sales solution or even how to start with uh, in your company uh, to take advantage of uh, what's a Cloud API uh, for improved sales. Not only what's a Cloud API, because you can use another channels. You can use uh, Facebook Messenger. You can use Instagram direct messaging. And also you can use web chat or even WeChat. Okay. But uh, we'll focus today uh, on what's a Cloud API because it's the most efficient channel for sales. Okay. So when you are building a solution for your company, for your sales teams, you need to take in consideration several things. First of all, how much uh, agents you have. If that agent will have different um, 
um, how to say it, uh, how different, which are their responsibilities, uh, which markets they uh, will manage and this kind of uh, stuff to be sure that you uh, make the right dimension of your WhatsApp project. Why? Because some clients uh, only have, for example, three agents and they work uh, in the same way. So they just take the last message and talk with the client. But sometimes you have a, a group of agents for Mexico, a group of agents for UK, a, a group of agents either for each language or uh, each region. So you need to know first what's your uh, universe to be sure that when you start your WhatsApp strategy, uh, that strategy fits with your uh, company. So this is the first thing you need to, to think about how to uh, work with uh, WhatsApp. When you have clear, and our team will help you with that, when you have clear how to work with WhatsApp, uh, then you need to plan uh, several things. First, how uh, can I uh, get new uh, opportunities to my uh, sales team? This is the first concern you need to be sure that uh, it's... Uh, Solve it. Why? Because if you don't have an uh, entry point, this is the first part, uh, if you don't have entry points, you will not have uh, enough demand for your sales team. So here you can create organic entry points that works uh, itself, or you can uh, create this and also use your marketing team to create demand in several ways. Uh, we already covered this in other webinars. And if you have questions, we can talk about it at the end of the webinar. This is the first step. So you are generating uh, enough demand for your sales team. Then when you have the demand, they will start conversation with you. So you, you need to manage uh, these conversations. That's, uh, that's the point where the live chat solution, uh, it's a, a must. Okay, so you have uh, a live chat solutions where you can work uh, with different agents and whatever. So this is the second step. And you need to know uh, how to work with that live chat, because at the end, uh, probably uh, WhatsApp is not like other channels. WhatsApp is a channel where your clients will start the conversation probably with marketing uh, or, or with organic at the point. Then they will move uh, to the sales team. Maybe they will close the deal uh, in the first uh, conversation. Maybe not. You need to follow up with them, uh, probably. Sometimes uh, they will not be ready to buy your solution or your product uh, right now. And then they will come back to marketing. Marketing will send them uh, notifications. They will, they will send them uh, offers or promotions and then will come back to marketing, uh, to sales. <clears throat> and even after the sale, your customer support team, for example, will still working with the uh, WhatsApp channel. So you need to plan this and be sure that you can uh, deliver the conversation to the right person. So this is one of the first things you need to think about, okay? This is related to live chat. Uh, we will cover this uh, deeply uh, later. Then uh, you need to be sure that you can communicate with your clients. So uh, you need to, uh, if you know how to WhatsApp Cloud API works, to communicate with your clients, you need to send them push notifications. And if the conversational window is closed, remember that with the WhatsApp Cloud API, uh, when you start a conversation with a client, you have 24 hours to uh, free messaging with them. Okay, But after the 24 hours uh, window, you need to send them a new pass push notification with a template pre-approved by WhatsApp to start again the conversation. So uh, your sales teams needs uh, a lot of templates to be sure that they can uh, start uh, the conversation in different ways, probably build with variables or whatever. So you probably you will have like 10, 15 follow-up templates depending of uh, your uh, company because each company is different. So for example, if you are selling a software as a service, you will have follow-up templates with different kinds. Hey, we were talking about this. Uh, do you want to uh, get more information or move forward with the uh, uh, sales? Okay, this can be um, a way or you can uh, send them promotions. So you need to have uh, promotion templates or you can have a uh, nurturing in the plates uh, just to be sure that they understand better your product or services. So you need to be sure that you have all the tools uh, your sales team needs uh, to be effective. Okay. This is manual notifications. And also you can work with automatic uh, notifications. Uh, 
which kind of notifications can be automated. For example, if you have a meeting uh, with a client, you can send them automatic notifications for uh, a meeting remember, for example, or uh, for res rescheduling the meeting. Or, uh, okay, uh, I w you told me that uh, we are going to uh, meet again next week. Uh, here you can schedule the meeting and link the push notification with a chatbot, for example, to reschedule the meeting or book a new meeting. You can do these kind of things. Also, uh, one of the best chatbots that works for sales is uh, also you can automate conversations. This is a chatbot, okay? So the best uh, chatbot you can use for uh, automate and, uh, conversations is the uh, offline hours chatbot. We will talk about it later. But uh, your team probably are not working 24 hours. So if you work from 8 to 8, for example, you need to cover the other uh, uh, times. So you need to create a chatbot that only tells the customer, hey, uh, our team is sleeping, don't worry, they will reach you as soon as possible. And if you want information, meanwhile, uh, here you have this, 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 and this. For example, this is the most simple chatbot you can use in sales. And uh, it gives you a lot of uh, customer experience. And uh, you can then, when you come back in the morning, uh, start again the conversation with the client. And obviously, if you are working sales, you want to work with, with a CRM. So this is the last part, okay? Uh, you can work with a CRM to be sure that uh, your team have all the information in one uh, place so they can review it. And when they pass the client from one agent to another one or even to customer support, you have all the information of the client and all the conversations uh, are uh, are here. So you can check it and uh, see what happened with the client, okay? This is like a full customer journey uh, for sales teams. So uh, this is like a brief uh, of uh, what we suggest to do uh, when you start uh, working with Wattpad uh, as a sales team, okay? Now we will move to, to each of these points uh, to be sure that you understand or uh, have an idea of how to achieve uh, each of them, okay? The first, uh, the entry points, we, talk, uh, we already talked about it, but you need to be sure that you generate enough demand. You can do it uh, several ways. You can do it uh, organically, or uh, with paid strats. So, for example, what are the uh, best uh, entry points in our opinion? First, uh, all the widgets you can add to your website. If you add a WhatsApp button in your website, this is a super simple widget, uh, and they, uh, the customer, uh, when they click on the widget, they go to the conversation of WhatsApp, and they say, hey, hello, conversation started. So you have the client, you already opened the 24 hours conversation, so you can uh, start working with uh, that. So uh, this is like the, uh, the first step. Uh, and after, after that, uh, you, you have the conversation ready, okay? Uh, uh, I read in the chat that some of you have problems with the presentation. Uh, if you cannot see the presentation, please try to refresh the window or even change the browser. So sometimes uh, we have problems with that. So that's my, my advice. My, my coworker is here to, to help you in the chat, Adelaida, please. Uh, so you can, you can see the presentation. Then moving with uh, the topic, uh, you can uh, add this simple widget. So you, you will have uh, that client uh, already in your conversation. But you can not only uh, use that. For example, you can, uh, if you're in marketing, you can start the conversation with the customer just uh, trying to add them to our WhatsApp letter. This is like a newsletter, but with WhatsApp. So you can nurture them uh, until they uh, say, hey, okay, I, I like your content. Uh, I want to know more. So you can drive them to uh, the sales team, for example. Uh, even you can work with the WhatsApp interactive buttons. So uh, after the content, you can say, okay, do you want to tag with sales? Click here. And if they click here, the sales team will know and you can start the conversation with them. This is a very good way to, to get more demand for your sales team. Obviously, you can use uh, QR codes. At the end, a QR code is uh, a link 
that you can share uh, fiscally. So if you have an event if uh, or whatever, you have marketing staff that you can share with your uh, live, uh, clients or whatever, uh, in your product, in outside, in uh, wherever you want, you can use this kind of QR codes and they will drive people to your WhatsApp. Also, you can use ads, obviously. Even WhatsApp, uh, Meta, already uh, created a new kind of ads that uh, are called conversational ads. So uh, here, uh, it's the, the mock-up. You can uh, see it in the bottom right corner. Uh, here, you can create an ad that specifically uh, uh, drives the customer to your WhatsApp conversation. So this works like a charm. So uh, in our experience, this, this works really well uh, if you have a super simple product, you can create direct ads to WhatsApp. And if you have a, maybe a more complex product, uh, you can create remarketing campaigns uh, for people that are already know you, that visit your website or interact with you in social networks and then deliver them to uh, your WhatsApp uh, to start the conversation with them. So this is, these are different kinds, uh, different ways of starting a conversation with your client. So this is super uh, important for your sales team because uh, they need demand and uh, this way you will generate them the demand. Obviously, you can start the conversation with your client directly and uh, not only be responsive, you can be proactive. But WhatsApp is a channel that uh, is not good for doing that. Uh, if your client uh, live or in other channel already start speaking with you, uh, asking for uh, stuff or whatever, uh, then you can uh, start the conversation with them uh, in WhatsApp. But this uh, is moving the conversation for other channel to WhatsApp because WhatsApp is a better channel where you can uh, get better results. But if they don't uh, start the conversation with you or you don't have uh, the data uh, and they don't accept your uh, privacy policy or this kind of things, it's better to not start um, directly a conversation with them, okay? Anyway, uh, these are uh, the most um, simple uh, entry points you can use, okay? Then, moving forward, you have already conversation if you in your uh, WhatsApp or other channels. It's time to start uh, working with an inbox, okay? A solution for live chat. Uh, at Walter, we have several uh, inbox solutions, but um, the, the most important thing is that you understand how to work with them. Because at the end, a uh, live chat inbox is just a tool. Uh, any tool can help you with your size team. Obviously, more features, better, probably, or uh, and you will uh, never get your uh, wonderful inbox, okay? Uh, that fit all your needs. Okay, you can do it if you want to, to create a, a specific project for your company, where, for example, you ask Walter, okay, I have an inbox with this, 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 and these features. Okay, we can create it for you, obviously. But if you look for inbox solutions in the market, you will uh, see that all of them have different stuff. Okay, uh, so you need to try to uh, be proactive in the process. Uh, you, you are working with sales, okay? Uh, this is the most important. Here I will share you the two options we have at Wattle. I will share my screen. Uh, please tell me if you can see my screen. Okay, I think you can see my screen now. Okay, this is, first of all, I will show you the old uh, solution uh, we have uh, at Wattle. Oh, one of the solutions we have at Wattle, you can see my screen, right? Okay, let me, yeah. I check it in the chat. Uh, so here, this is a inbox solution we have. This is a, a Zoho Click. This is a, a live chat uh, application that we are used to use on Wattel. Why? Because uh, it's easy to use. Uh, you can use it mobile. And uh, it's, it's like um, Microsoft Teams or, or Slack. We can even create integration for Slack or Microsoft Teams if you want. But here uh, you can see that we have different uh, conversations where you can work with the customer, okay? You can send them messages uh, directly on WhatsApp or you can uh, receive all the messages. You can receive pictures or whatever, okay? Here you can work with different agents. You can see it here, for example, we have three agents uh, in the conversation. 
So all of them uh, can see the conversation and uh, interact uh, with the client. So this is like an example of an inbox solution. Here, uh, we were talking about the process. Uh, here, uh, for example, you need to, uh, if I am here, I need to, uh, for example, if I want to ask a, a co-worker something, I need to mention him and say, hey, John, uh, take care of this, okay? So John will read this. Not the customer, John, will read this. So then John can come here and say, hey, whatever I want uh, in WhatsApp. Uh, they cannot start a conversation right now because it's WhatsApp, it is a WhatsApp number, so they will need a template. Uh, we can either send a template. Okay. Uh, okay, sorry. We can send templates or whatever we need. Okay, so uh, here, uh, this is the solution. This is a really good solution uh, for big teams uh, because you can also create a agent routine or whatever you need. But at Walter, we uh, thought that, that this is not enough. So we started to build our own inbox with all the customer feedback. So uh, this is our now uh, our new inbox. This is not available right now. So we are now in the waiting list process. This is the first version. Uh, it's working and it's pretty good. So here, for example, you can see that you can manage all the channels. Here you can you can see examples of Facebook, uh, WhatsApp, or live chat. I, I will show you live uh, to be sure that you understand how to work it. But also this has a lot of features and that will help you to better manage your uh, sales process. This is the first version, as I told, and uh, you can expect a lot of new features in the, in the next weeks and months. So here, for example, I will explain you a bit how this works. Uh, here you can have multiple channels. Here, for example, I have uh, two WhatsApp channels one Facebook channel and one uh, website channel. So I can filter whatever I want uh, so only to check only uh, the conversation from one channel. This is the first thing uh, we thought it's important. Also, obviously, you can search for uh, clients uh, from the number or the name. Uh, you need to work with the prefix uh, here. And uh, when you start the conversation, for example, here, this is a WhatsApp conversation. Uh, I can I can work uh, in any way. Here, for example, I will show you an example to to uh, use case. Uh, for example, you are uh, you have a client. This is the client. They say hi. You have a chatbot. Okay, you have a chatbot for non-working hours, for example, or here is a, a educational chatbot for job over offers. Okay, here they can interact with the chatbot. Okay, I want this, for example. Okay, uh, and they are interacting in their WhatsApp channel with the chatbot. Okay, so here uh, is the information. Okay, I am interested. So then you can pass uh, to the agent automatically. Uh, here, for example, they are asking me for the for the uh, usual information I need to uh, start working with them. My email is email at email.com, for example. So uh, as you can see, they are interacting with the with the chatbot. But here you can see that the conversation you are reading all the conversation and here you know that a bot is talking with the customer. So your sales team knows what's happening, okay? Uh, here they ask for a CV or whatever, but your sales person is here and they check, hey, there is a new conversation and someone is talking with the chatbot. So here they can stop the chatbot. This is another feature and say, hey, hello. And they start talking with the client, okay? So here in the uh, customer WhatsApp here, uh, you can see the conversation. Okay, for example, uh, here, how can I help you or whatever you want, okay? So you can start uh, sharing the information and live uh, your client will see all the information here. So this is uh, <coughs> how can you work? <clears throat> Here, for example, there is an example with a, a website channel uh, where I can say, okay, uh, we have a client here that start a conversation in the website. Hello, uh, I'm interested in whatever, okay? So here uh, in your live chat, you will have the conversation so you can talk, hi, I'm Jose, I'm here to help you, okay? So you can start working 
with uh, the client uh, in the same interface. This is important for us. And even you can use it on Facebook or WhatsApp, any 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 number of Facebook or WhatsApp. This is Facebook, for example. Hello, how are you? Hey, it's good. Uh, here I have uh, the conversation with the client. Okay, even in Facebook, you can add bots, whatever you want. Or you can have agents, for example, that only uh, are allowed to talk with the Facebook uh, clients or WhatsApp channels or whatever, because you can set up uh, your live chat, uh, adding several agents, uh, uh, adding that agents to different channels. You can see here that you can add the people to different channels or even you can add as much channels as you want to the uh, live chat inbox. So here you will have all the tools you need to work with. Also for sales team is super important to be sure that everyone uh, knows what uh, they need to do. So here, for example, uh, we created this feature where you can assign, okay, assign a, a agent to a conversations. So they will have an special uh, folder here uh, where they will have all the assigned conversations. So this is super important for your sales uh, team when you are working conversational. You need to assign conversations to people to be sure that all, everything is answered and also that everything uh, works well. What's our way to work with that? Uh, usually in our main folder, there are no conversations. Why? Because we assign everything to the proper agent. We have a person uh, dedicated to this and uh, all the conversations are here in the follow-up section and when they finish the conversation they click here and the conversation is is moved to the other special folder that's done so here you can see the flow okay a new conversation comes uh, i assign it to the uh, proper agent and when the conversation is done i move it to the done conversation also i have here a spam folder because to be uh, honest, uh, if you have a WhatsApp channel, probably you will have a lot of people that are not interesting for you. That they are asking for something random. And also, you can create special folders uh, to manage whatever you want. You can create unlimited channels. So you can uh, move here any conversation to the folder you want. Okay? So this is how uh, this kind of solution will work. Uh, obviously, you can add here uh, any node you want. You can assign tags here, for example, for sending push notifications. Uh, you can fill a, a lot of information for your customer here to ensure you have everything ready. And also, uh, if you are in a WhatsApp channel, for example, we integrated the template sending. Uh, so here, uh, remember when I was talking about push messages, uh, here you can uh, choose from your uh, WhatsApp templates for your account and send the template directly to the customer. So here, for example, okay, delivery instructions. Uh, I want to send it in uh, English. And for example, this is the variables, variable one, two, three. So I can send directly a template to the customer from here. So this is awesome uh, to be uh, to have everything ready in the uh, in the same uh, solution so here you can see the template that uh, i just received it so this is the way we think uh, a sales team uh, can work and this is what we're going to deliver so if you want to to test it and start working with that just uh, use the link to to uh, subscribe to the waiting list so this is related to live chat we'll move again to the presentation Give me a second. Then uh, the next topic we need to move forward is the push notifications. In the past, uh, in the past uh, section, you already see how I sent a template. You as a sales team, you need to have different templates to be sure that uh, you can uh, start conversations with your clients. Remember, WhatsApp API, how it works. When the conversational window is closed, you need to send a pre-approved template of WhatsApp. Okay, I will show you how to create this template. I will use the. You can create it on Wattle or you can create it on uh, your uh, <clears throat> uh, business manager of uh, Facebook. So, for example, give me a second. I will uh, show you directly it on the business manager, sharing my screen and uh, talk about the importance below using uh, 
this kind of templates and uh, that your sales team has uh, everything they need uh, to follow up the conversations. So let me share my screen again. Okay, done. Uh, this is the business manager. Okay, uh, here we have a lot of sam samples uh, of templates we can use. At the end, you need to create a, a template for each situation you think will be uh, important to communicate with your client. You have three kinds of uh, templates uh, available. The first is marketing. This is for sending information to your customer uh, in any way. Uh, you have service templates. This is for, for example, when a customer buys something and you want to send them the invoice or the follow up of the order or whatever related to that. And lastly, you have the uh, one time password notifications that you can use to substitute uh, SMS or email uh, if you need to send verification links or password. WhatsApp is really better for that. Okay. So here you assign a template, for example, for six films follow up, you can say one, for example, okay? So here you're creating a template. You can create it in English or in several languages. So as you see, uh, as you watched before in the presentation, you can choose your template, choose the language, and then choose the variables. Okay, so here uh, we have everything ready to uh, create the template. Okay, I'm not sure why I cannot. Okay, I need to choose the, the kind of template. Okay, so here, this is how a template is built. You have the header, where you can do nothing, add a text or add a multimedia. You can add an image, video, or message. If you add an image, will be an image in the header. If you add a document, will be a document in the header. For example, for the follow-up, hey, I have your quotation. So you, you, could, uh, you can have a template for sending quotations. You can have a template for follow-ups. You can have a template for whatever you want, okay? Uh, so for example, here, okay, follow up with the conversation, okay? So here, uh, when you use the header, the header is in, on top in the, in the WhatsApp message and it's in bold. So here you can start talking with the client, hello, and you can add here a variable. This is super important, okay? Why? Because you will personalize the template. Here you can add, okay, the name of the agent here, follow win our conversation, blah, blah, blah. So here you can add several variables to be able to customize each template for the customer and the real uh, uh, needs that they have, okay? But what, because what happens if you don't use uh, variables in the proper way? Uh, you will have like 20 templates, okay, to do the same because they are different situations. If you use variables with two, three, four templates, you have everything covered. So your agents can use this uh, easily. Also, you can have here a footer, for example, uh, answers. Subscribe. So here in the future, you can see this is uh, in gray. Uh, you can add it here. Or even you can add buttons. So here you can add, for example, okay. Uh, here you can say, okay, yes, do it. For example, you are asking for a follow up or uh, schedule the meeting. You are asking for a meeting, for example. So here they will interact with the template and you will have uh, the conversation window open it again to uh, do the follow-up. So this is what I want to tell you about the templates. So you need to use them to be sure that you follow up properly uh, with your customer, okay? We'll uh, move to the next step. Uh, obviously, you can use the templates uh, in a manual way or in an automated way. Uh, for example, uh, this is our examples or uh, different kinds of templates you can uh, send to your customer. For example, the first one is like a marketing template. Okay, I invite you to a webinar. The second one is, okay, you are already registered to the webinar. Here you have the link to go uh, or whatever. Okay, you can use reminders. Uh, for sales, the reminders are super important because if you are in a sales team, you know that one of your main problems is that you, uh, you have a meeting and the client doesn't come. So WhatsApp is great to share the link with the client 
and say, hey, I am here. You can create templates with dynamic URLs in the buttons. Uh, here you can see this is uh, these buttons drop direct to a URL. So you can create dynamic URLs so you can personalize the uh, message that you send to your customer. So this is super important for uh, be sure that they come to your to your webinars. Uh, next step, uh, I would talk about uh, before this. Uh, this is a chatbot. Uh, you can do the as templates in a manual way or in an automated way that this is the, the best uh, way to do it. Okay. So you are sure you can be sure that your clients uh, always come or, or uh, you increase the uh, assistant rate to your uh, meetings. Okay. Obviously you can create chatbots uh, in an any kind of chatbot uh, will be available for you, but the best one is the, okay, our team is not working right now, please. Uh, we will reach you later. This is the best chat buffer system. And the first one uh, I will implement, uh, our team will implement to, to any sales team. You can have a chatbot for sales, uh, but you can work with another kind of chatbots for customer support or for marketing, for whatever you want, okay? So uh, I strongly suggest you to use chatbots in your strat, okay? Also, uh, lastly, uh, we have the CRM integration. So here, uh, it's super important that you have all the data in a CRM. For example, we're natively integrated with Zoho CRM, and also we can integrate with other CRMs with projects, okay? So what happened here, the best part here, I will share the screen one minute with you to show you live. Uh, for example, here I have, uh, this, is, uh, this is Zoho CRM, and here we have an integration with WhatsApp. What can happen here, first of all, I have all the conversation story here. Uh, so I, my agent can uh, check what happened with the conversation here. We don't have a conversation right now, but here you will have everything that happened uh, in, in WhatsApp with your client. This is the first thing that it's super important. The second thing is that here you can start a conversation with your client. Uh, so you can send a template uh, directly from CRM. So this is uh, super relevant because when you send the template, Okay, when you send the plate, here, for example, a new conversation will start. So you can follow up the conversation. So this is the, the other thing that it is uh, super relevant for you. Okay, and also here you can create uh, workflows and automations directly on the CRM. So you can send automatic messages with an, a new lead scum or whatever. So it's super important. Uh, we think that it is super important uh, to be integrated with a CRM. Okay. So the next theme uh, at the end, uh, the ABC is, okay, know how to manage your uh, live chat, uh, have a chatbot when you are off, uh, learn how to work with push notifications in a manual and automated way and integrate it with a CRM. This is the best way to start working with WhatsApp Cloud API or other conversational channels. Uh, and we strongly recommend to do it uh, that way. We are WhatsApp, uh, we are, uh, you know us, we are a startup, we are starting and we offer you, uh, we set up this for you. Uh, if, if it is a simple setup, uh, we, we will do it for you. If it is a complex setup and you need more than uh, we are natively offering, we can create a project for you and tailor uh, whatever you need. And uh, we will help you to create this kind of processes for your team. So we will be sure that you have everything you need to work, start working with your conversation channels and start uh, selling more because at the end, uh, the main objective of this kind of channels is to help your sales team to sell more. And we really believe that, uh, well, well, not really believe because we have data. So we know that uh, WhatsApp, Facebook, and Instagram, these kind of channels works like a charm to uh, increase your conversion rate because at the end it's a, a channel super convenient for your customers uh, and you can get a uh, great results from that. So that's it. That is, uh, this is what uh, we want to share with you in this webinar. Uh, please now, if you have questions, you can uh, use the uh, questions uh, tab and also the, the live chat, whatever you want. I, I will check the questions. We have the first questions. Can we integrate with other CRM? Yes, you can. Uh, any CRM that has 
uh, APIs can be integrated with Wattle. Uh, even you can create whatever integration you want. Obviously, uh, when we are talking about uh, custom integrations, we need to create a project with you and work with you to be sure that we deliver to you the best solution we can uh, bring to you so you can start working the way you want. Okay, but uh, we can integrate with whatever. For example, we have uh, clients with Salesforce, HubSpot, and other kind of CRMs integrated. So if you want, uh, we can talk with our team and we will help you, obviously, integrating with uh, whatever you need. Can we have Action in the bot conversation to speak to an, an agent? Yes, and this is a, uh, the best way to, to work with a chatbot at the end. Uh, <coughs> always in all the chatbots, uh, a good practice is to give the customer the option to talk with a human. We do it in pretty all of our chatbots. It's a super, in, uh, super good uh, question because at the end, uh, when you are uh, working with chatbots, uh, you need to be sure that your client knows that he is talking with a chatbot. So our chatbots usually start with, hey, I am the blah, blah, blah chatbot. So, okay, they know that they are talking with a chatbot. If you want to talk with a human, click here. Okay, so they, you give the option to talk with a human uh, anyway. Uh, second question, uh, if the customer selects uh, it, how the notification will appear in the inbox? Mm, the notification uh, you want. Uh, remember that when you create a chatbot, you define which is the button to change to an agent. So, uh, you can say, for example... I want to talk with a human and you will see in the chat, I want to talk with a human. And you can even, uh, if you want, create footer integrations or develop something that when this happens, uh, something uh, blows to, to your agent. So uh, this can be done uh, and it's done in, in other uh, <coughs> projects. The screen is black. Uh, okay, don't worry. The screen, if the screen is black now, because uh, the presentation is ended, uh, here the slide that you can see here now is something that, that say, hey, thank you. Do you have any questions? So don't worry. Uh, yeah, we will record the, the webinar and send to you uh, after the end. Can we handle the working hours with talks with human button? So if the user click on talk with a human tonight, we will tell him no one is available. Yes, absolutely. Uh, one of the, uh, the non-working hour chatbots can work in two ways. The first way is, for example, you create a chatbot uh, where you say, hey, I am not working right now. Click here and my agent will reach you tomorrow. The second way is, <coughs> hey, how are you? How can I help you? I can help you as a chatbot in this, 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 and this. And if you want to talk with a human, click here. Then when they click here, if you are in non-working hours, a chatbot will say, hey, don't worry, no agent is available right now. We'll reach you um, after 8 uh, a.m., for example. You can do that with no problem. More questions. Uh, how do you set up uh, the out of uh, our chatbots? Uh, okay, you can do it natively in Zoho CRM. And if not, uh, when you are our client with all the licenses, we have an onboarding and our team will set up the chatbot for you. So you will say, okay, I want to tell this, uh, this is our my non-working hours, I, I want to uh, this, uh, uh, these features and they will create it for you because it's uh, one of the chatbots that are included in our free onboarding for new clients. Uh, can Water help to get the WhatsApp green, uh, green check? Yes, we help with that. Remember, this is a WhatsApp decision. We cannot uh, give you the 100% uh, to be sure that you will get the green check because WhatsApp, uh, one of the, the most diff uh, complicated point to get in the green check, we have it at Wattel, for example, and in, in other own projects and with a lot of clients, but what, uh, WhatsApp uh, asks for uh, online relevance to be sure uh, to give you the green check. In the past months, we see that they are uh, getting less, uh, <coughs> sorry, they are getting, uh, they are mm, give, giving more green checks, okay? Because at, in the past, it's really hard to, to, to get 
to get the green check for small or mid companies. But now they will start to, to give more uh, green checks. But we at Water will help you with all the documentation you need to send, best practices, uh, our experience getting green checks. Uh, I would We will tell you that. Okay, so we will help you uh, to get the green check, but we cannot assure that you will get it the uh, first time. Mm, our experience tell us that uh, mm, even if you don't get it the first time, you can still try to get it. And at the end, maybe in two months, in six months, in one year, uh, we don't know, you will uh, get it. Okay, so we will fight with you to get the green check. Okay, any other questions uh, uh, where uh, we can help you right now? Remember, if you want something for us, uh, you can book a meeting with our team. And please, if you want to be the first to test the uh, new inbox feature, subscribe to the uh, waiting list. You can ha you have the link in the website or here in the webinar or, or wherever. Uh, we have uh, another question. It is going to affect in any action if the green check is not available. No, mm, you will be able to work with uh, WhatsApp uh, with all the features of WhatsApp, uh, even if you don't have the green check. Green check is just another feature that allows you to have the green check. And also your display name will be always visible to your clients, uh, even if they don't have uh, you in their uh, agenda, okay? This is what green check does. Okay, any other question? Okay, so thank you very much for being here. Uh, I hope uh, this webinar is uh, useful for you. Uh, and I said, if you need something, uh, talk with us because we can really help you to create your conversational project and start selling more with conversational strats. So bye-bye, see you next week.